He did say, I mean, he is good at defense. I will give him that. Okay, that was kind of a crazy statement. One more last time. What's up, you guys? Hope you're having a great day. It's the Average Anime Fan here. And today we're going to be watching Blue Lock Season 2, Episode Number 6. The, the story has been carrying Blue Lock heavily this season. But do y'all also feel like Morrow got snubbed? I know he doesn't fit into the team's core dynamic. So I'm not I'm not mad at it. But it's like, dang, Morrow though? But we all know Morrow would find a way to make the team about himself, even though he knows he's not the best player on it. So I get it. But also in the future, I am thinking about live streaming on Twitch, the reactions. So would that be something you'd be interested? Would you slide through? Let me know down in the comment section down below. And let's not waste some more time and hop right into the video. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I am recording these reactions at like five in the morning. So I am tired as hell. I kind of took a nap and ended up oversleeping. And now, and I gotta go to work in a couple hours. Oh, it's the guy that beat up um, Shido. I wonder what he's interested in talking to him about. Again? Yeah, they probably gonna end up kicking the um the guy that's garbage off the team. Dang. So he gonna have to prove that he's garbage. Both of them. Are they gonna have like a little practice match? Oh wow. He's like the heart of this team right now. Oh, so that's the only reason he's being nice to him? Cause he's like, I I know you're the only reason people are coming. Ooh, a little in team battle. It's his ego talking to him. He wanna know he wanna know what this little genius can do. Oh, it, he's the captain. Interesting. Okay, I like it. Thank you. Uh he still ain't warned up to him. Ooh. Bro's like, all right. He said, "Don't, don't get left in my dust." I'm curious to see. So our older brother is on demon time, though. Bro, bro, really has like, like, <laughs> none of y'all are worth my time. But you know what? I'll entertain it because I'm bored. And and the captain just like he like, huh. he just want chaos. I feel like the captain just want chaos. Who y'all feel like started that fight between Shido and the um the star player on their team? Who you think started it again? Or Shido just went after him. Uh Batra so so innocent. In the heart aspect of it at least. This motherfucker wake up playing the game. How many of y'all do that? The first thing y'all do is wake up and play the game. That's that's kinda diabolical. Bro didn't even watch like brush his teeth or anything. Brother said, let me get on this Call of Duty. So I'm curious. I like the other guy. Wait, how many people can play on the soccer team and one like like how much how many people are on the team? Cause is that's what the back of them people glam glam glam. Wow, well, pissed off. He fin I'm surprised he didn't throw that whole weight set away. Like how many people can play like on one team at one time? Like I know it's eleven on the field, but how many people like can be on the bench? Cause why why um ego ain't kicked the other people out that didn't make the team. But then again, maybe that, like I said, maybe that because they need bench players. I don't know. I don't, I never played soccer a day in my life, so I, I don't know. We well, at least we know the crowd's gonna be against them, because obviously they don't know anybody. Well, besides Ren, because of his last name. But I don't think I don't, they're definitely gonna be booing them the hell out of them. Oh yeah, he was he he was taught to always focus on the team as well. Is that gonna be the difference between him and them? Cause it seems like he wants to be an ego type player, but he just couldn't. And I guess that that little that represents like him being snipped as a. And I feel like a lot of people, a lot of people don't talk about that. Let me just let me talk my shit. So a lot of people don't talk about that, but a a lot of coaches don't really want you to like grow as a player. They want you to help the team aspect. And that's cool and dandy. But at certain at some certain point you have to be willing to let a, a kid grow. Like for instance, like me being 6'4, I was forced to play center because the because of the the amount of height we had in our area. So like I was six foot, six one, six two playing center. But mind you in the NBA that's a, a guard. So no one ever really just focused on like hey this is how we're gonna bring you to the next level or this and that. And that could be partly my own fault because I didn't really have that much of a drive. Like I wanted it, but I didn't want it as bad as like, obviously they're showing their their, their drive. But I was just like, that just pro shows you. So 
Sai is so good. Oh, but ain't Rin ain't Rin taller now? <laughs> but you can really tell he loves his brother though. Rin really did love his brother. Now he don't like his brother because of how he treated him. But at the beginning, you can tell he really loved his brother, looked up to him. And you, and you can still argue that's probably like a fundamental part of why he still want to play soccer and prove to him like why he's the best still now. Oh, they're gonna play at the Blue Lock Arena? Okay, we got home court advantage, baby. Imagine having, imagine someone coming to y'all arena and still having home cover advantage because all their fans are your, are their fans. I kind of thought they were gonna have like a, like a, like a in, like a in thing match to, for like the team to start loving Sai and Shido, but I guess not. I don't even know why they got blue lock accessories out there, bro. You might as well get something else. Y'all might as well just focus on selling the, the U20s uh, merch. You do not see one person there with blue lock like attire. I, but I wonder if we're going to start seeing some of the families from the blue lock um, thing in the stands. That would be kind of cool. Maybe that's the reason some of them level up. That would be kind of dope. Oh, that's who that's who bro was talking about someone in the comments said I so that's that that's that's bro name that put on uh, call on his ass Got you <laughs> That put shit on his ass. Okay. Okay <laughs> Well, I mean they came in think knowing they were gonna be underdogs oh, Okay, so the U20 team going come out first makes sense makes sense Hey, bro, in the middle above side, there's no, there's no emotions behind them eyes. Them eyes just look soulless. All right, you guys, it's time to show them who we are. Blue Lock 11. 15 minutes to show time. I'm ready to see what everybody can pull out their bag though. Looking like a, looking like a true trooper. Dang, it seemed like a crazy little dream of theirs, but now it's reality. <laughs> Imagine turning a whole team of strikers into a, a regular soccer team. That's got to be crazy work Especially after all the things he taught them Okay, that's everybody Yeah, borrow look like I'm definitely getting in this game oh, That is kind of crazy. Oh, yeah, cuz the four the other forward is a star forward To perfection guys I mean, I think it's so perfect. Imagine nobody's beating like this, this high level team. All their stock is going to race through the roof. They're going to be all household names, especially the people that actually like, like do their thing and show out. I definitely feel like Nagi, Isagi, Rin. I feel like them, them three for sure are going to be household names. Oh yeah, them eyes are soulless. Ooh, we. This game gonna get serious. Ooh, walking past your brother like nothing. Wait, what's that? His brother? I don't think that was his brother. Yeah, that wasn't his brother. There you go. Yeah, this is what we've been waiting for. The, the malice between them eyes and him un so unbothered. <laughs> yeah, it's time to get active in this motherfucker. I love it. <laughs> you got a little Garamaru. Garamaru is definitely fun. Oh, really? He, he seems like such a nice guy. He gives me Bachara vibes for sure. Definitely give us Bachara vibes. I was gonna say like this is probably like their matchups, but Isagi's matched up against the goal, the, the defensive guy, so obviously that can't be the, the case. Or that could have just been for plot reasons for him to like talk to him. Oh my god! Imagine seeing all this and majority of it is the ops, like <laughs> the ops of crew or ops fans. That was, I know this gotta like, that gotta be like puts a pound in your chest, but it's so good. I know they they must be because look just imagine this is what they've been training for since they came to blue lock what they were promised but i know this is like kind of like nerve-wracking at the same time it kind of can make you kind of anxious a little bit 
not gonna lie do y'all think how would y'all feel if y'all were in this predicament where y'all was playing at this high level thing going from like a jv game to like this type of level with a huge stadium would y'all be able to do it or would y'all have like a like y'all would have butterflies i have butterflies like a motherfucker can we at least get one goal before it ends i at least want one goal or at least one interaction don't 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 do me like this man with episode seven Whew. I hope you took a pre-game dump. Isagi, we believe in you though. We know you can do it. Yeah, that heartbeat. Ooh, the aura is activating. Yeah. Okay, Ri. Ooh. Okay. I never seen that side of Ri. He's like, come on, sidekick. The fact that he's talking to just just Isagi and not um I mean just Isagi and not Nagi is crazy. Let's go, baby. Alright, no mess up. We can't we can't afford to lack in any sort. Oh, it's like a wall of defense. So basically it's like just in case they mess up in the in the This is crazy. when you think about it, this is a crazy attack pattern. This focus on just pure offense and using everybody's abilities to the max. Let's go, Bachira. Show what you got. Who, who, who? Come on now. No, ooh, Bachira. No way you just did that. Bachira, nasty with it, gang. That's nasty work. One on one, you ain't stopping, Bachira. Is Isagi. Oh yeah. Let's go. Let's go, Isagi. Let's go. I feel like something bad can happen though. Oh, it's him. He did say, I mean, he is good at defense. I will give him that. Hey, he not gonna lie, he does look like he jumped high as hell. That it can he jump higher than Gagamaru? They gotta put him into the like the play. I like the little cobra thing though. It doesn't matter. We just gotta we just gotta devour him and we'll win. What? What's up? Oh, that's an interesting. That's an interesting way to think of. Oh, that, it doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter. We just gotta get right with him. Now that we know what he's, how he works, all we gotta do is just play around it. Cause we gotta think about it. This is their best, one of their best players. That's the only reason it stopped because of him. <laughs> Okay, that was kind of a crazy statement, but hey, uh, we'll, we'll we'll take it easy. A little freaked out, put a collar on me. That was wild. But okay, Aku, uh, Aku, 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 Aku or Aku? How y'all pronounce it? I'm, I'm thinking like a coup, like uh, from Samurai Jack, but Aku, Aku, Aku. I don't know. Let me know if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But amazing episode. We finally get to see. Oh, wait a minute. Make sure I'm not missing nothing. Make sure before. All right. Episode seven is going to be kind of good now because we're gonna, that means we're going to get per, per action. We even got some of the plays out of the way. The I believe it was three, six, one, three. No, it can't be three, six. One. Well, yeah, I think it was three, six, one because I don't know. I could be wrong with that. But now I'm curious to see what else it tells in episode seven. We get to see Isagi, Rin. Cause we that was only a link up between Batra and and Isagi, so who knows how they're gonna react when Nagi shows up and show out? Cause we all know how Nagi gets when he gets super close to the uh, scoring um, to the goal. How they're gonna react to Ren? Um, I'm surprised didn't nobody at the beginning of the match. I guess cause they're so worked up about the U20. Cause no one talked about how like oh dang is that is that um size brother? Like ain't nobody even really talk about that. So. Uh, I guess because he hasn't got his really time to shine or like, you know, how like someone shows up and they're like, oh, who has that? Who has that with the ball? Oh, 
that's all read wait a minute is that his you know you know that type of interaction that's what i'm kind of thinking about going to happen in the next episode but who knows also if you love the content and you love blue lock and you love reactions consider hitting the like button subscribe to the channel i fuck with your boy also i do have the full reaction on the patreon check your boy out if you want the full uncut reaction and also i am like i said in the beginning i am thinking about starting on a twitch well starting to react on my twitch on saturdays let me know if you that would be something you'd be interested in, if you'll come through if so i'll start that up right away but i appreciate you coming through shout out to my tier three member i appreciate you you're a real one you're forever good in my books i appreciate you gang i'm gonna see you on next video i love you guys peace